And back here on a Tuesday morning edition, Cooper and Company Live in Athens, back in action after a week off in any way. And how you been? I'm great. You had a big vacation. You had two weeks off, didn't no, you? No, I did. One huh? week off. I had one week off. Oh, thank you. I wish I could. percolate without you being around. I wish I could have another week. <laughs> hey, Ann, I got to ask you a couple of things here. Happen over the, you know, we've been looking at sardines for health and stuff uh -huh. like that. Well, now the new thing, we talked about that horny goat weed and all that stuff. Well, now the new thing that's it's been out. Eating watermelon. I hate it. I that don't it. work. Oh, Why, did you know? scarf down a few over the holiday? <laughs> no, but that don't work. Why? All the watermelon do is make you go to the bathroom and pee. <laughs> it says you got to eat the rind, six so cups fun. of the rind. Please. <laughs> That ain't going to help. Don't believe everything you read in the newspaper. Well, it's true, ain't it? It ain't true. Mm. That ain't true. Says it's a poor man's Viagra. What them oysters or whatever them nasty thing means, what that's supposed to do for you? I just like the taste of them. That's supposed to, don't, supposed to boost your... Uh, yeah, it's supposed your, to. But it don't help either, do it? All right, then. You just supposed to go... I don't know. I ain't never been able to come get home Come on to the store and I get you some road. honey goat <laughs> weed or uh, some... We got, I got something similar to Viagra for 159 with two pills in it. It'll help you out. Well, I don't need no dangerous. help, but I always like to try something. I know you do. <laughs> All right, can You're we move on to an ass scan now Please. on this Tuesday morning? Back in action from vacation. And I'm going to, I got a couple of things here. Let's go to this one first. Uh, says my husband of uh, three or four years here is never home. He goes to work, hangs out with his buddies, leaving me at home with a baby and two other children that I've got on weekends. He jumps out of bed, showers, mm. leaves, sometimes not returning until wee hours in the morning. Says he's with his friends. Mm. Yeah, right. Most of the time, he doesn't even bother to call. Uh -huh. Then he says that he needs his space in this time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This has been going on for about two years, and when he is home, all he does is play video games or look at a computer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's only 34 years old. I'm a couple years old. He's touched me only once in the last four months. I feel rejected, lonely, and missed the closest. What should I do? You should have been gone. Huh? You, she should have been gone. Now, Ian, people just can't uproot and leave. They oh, got to give them a chance. Yes, they can. <laughs> Don't tell me you can't uproot and leave nobody. You can't do it. Why? Because one thing, he ain't out with his friends. They said they out with their friends. Their friends and dropped them off over their woman's house. <laughs> and they in all right. They in their bed, but it ain't with their friend. What causes a man to go looking for something somewhere else and staying gone all the time? Like I said, y'all just like dogs in a way, but, <laughs> you know, they want to blame it on a woman. It ain't always the woman. Majority of the time, it ain't the woman. They just see that little extra they can get out there, and they want to go get it. That ain't true. Yeah, it is. That grass look green until they get out there in it. You know, and then when it goes well, fade out. If it looks green, out, I'm going the other way. <laughs> and then when it starts fading back out, they want to run back home to their woman. And she takes him back. <laughs> like a nut. Some of them do, but some of them don't. Some of them Not do, but some of them don't. Birthday, buddy. Huh? I wouldn't. <laughs> if I know a man and went out there and I know what he out there doing, he get out there and he want to run back. I'm sorry. It ain't happening. If you do it once, you'll do it twice. If you do it twice, you're going to do it three times. And then it's just going to keep on and on. You know, there ain't many good men left out there. It ain't no good men out there. And if women got the good men, they don't appreciate them. That's right. Hallelujah, <laughs> Women get, don't know when they got it good, do they? They don't. Because we provide the paycheck to get them through Look, the day. Jamie, you ain't providing nothing. <laughs> But anyway, <laughs> you got some good men out there. Oh, you got man. some good men out there. And you got some good men <laughs> taking care of these women. And these women ain't appreciating it. They still want to go out and get some air. They crazy. What, in your opinion, first time I think I may have ever asked you this question, mm -hmm. what, when a woman's got it made, what kind of life is she living? A this good month? life. Exactly. A good life. <laughs> I you live with you. Tell her. <laughs> A darn and good one, but they don't appreciate it. <laughs> sure don't. You know what? The, the men can go out and work That's all right. day long. You right, and Come home. Keep talking. Ain't no food uh -huh. on the table. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, nothing. That's right. <laughs> Let a man get me and work all day and come home, and I ain't got to really do nothing. He tell me you take your job right. or whatever, and I'm gonna pay the bill. Man, I run your bath water. <laughs> I have you meals for every day. 
Oh, if I got to do that and I ain't got to do nothing, shh, women's is stupid. That's right, Ann. You didn't hear the first part of that, did you? Women's are stupid Damn, when they got a they good man. They got these good men and they don't appreciate <laughs> That's it. That's right. They out looking for something else. I'm finna tell y'all, ain't nothing out there. It ain't no good men's out there. They either a crackhead, a dopehead, or a drunk. <laughs> That's, that's the size of it. Now, Ann, there's got to be some better men in the world than crackheads, dopeheads, and drunks. <sighs> if they is, they bisexual, lesbians, or some, <laughs> they going both ways, or some, you know, you just can't. Woman, stick to your good man. If you got a good one, you better appreciate it. Because, Lord, I'm praying for one. Woo! And don't let it be yours. <laughs> <laughs> and now you can't yeah. be going after somebody else's man. If she ain't handling her business, that's her fault. Because I ain't going to take care of her. That's oh, boy. <laughs> you know, uh, Keith's looking for a woman. Keith's just in bad shape. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me ask you one other thing. I know the guy here changing the subject, but they're talking about this oh, time my. again to make the case for spanking John Rosemont, who is a... Uh, Rosemont, who is a big-time children's psychologist, mm -hmm. family psychologist here, uh, he's saying right now people are still having a problem whipping their kids. April 30th. Says right now yeah. they could be dismissed as just another bunch of people with too much time on their hands. It's the punishment. You know, they've got a group called In Physical Punishment of Children. Saying spanking is not the way to go. But and he's in favor of it. April 30th, they had a no spanking day. And no one knew about it, obviously. But What's the purpose? <laughs> they're just trying to say, don't ever spank your child. And one, one, one woman writes in and says, look, I had a two-year-old. He kept doing it. I spanked his butt three times. He quit doing it. So it here, worked. On the right side, we got folks who believe that God insists that parents spank. Having done considerable research, the use of the word rod in the Bible consulted with Old Testament scholars, I can say with confidence, that when used in context of discipline of children, God, I mean, the rod is clearly a metaphor. On the left, you got people who believe a swat to a child's rear teaches that hitting, a, hitting is okay and a child abuse is the most, uh, most serious sort of crime. I don't think it's a difference is child in that abuse. Now. Thank right. you. It's a difference. You got, it, it's, spanking a child and child abuse is two different things. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You, they going beneath, you better whoop them kids. Spank them kids. Kids get away with too much today. What Ann. you talking about? And they, they if they don't have their way, they gonna fall out. Some of them be want to hold your breath. Well, you just gonna have to hold your breath. Well, I'm just gonna look at you. You don't ever have no problem with bringing them in the store or acting up, do you? Kids, people bring their kids. Oh in. yeah, they be hollering, cause the mama don't get them no candy <laughs> or anything. But you know, you have to spank these kids, and it start at home. If you don't start teaching your child at home. And you go out. Most parents don't care, really, these days. What do you mean they don't care? They don't care about that. Let's let the kids go. Let them do, give them anything they want. Video and then, games. All right, you letting them get do whatever they want to do as a child. When they get grown and in trouble, in jail, and in prison, who fault is it? It's the parents' fault. Because you didn't spank them. Yeah. You let them go because you want to do your you own thing. You better go break your switch off and whoop that child. And if the police <laughs> come out there and you tell them why you whoop that child, he going he gonna to sit there and look at you. Because I know they out there whooping their kids. You don't know that. Who ain't? If they came up when I was coming up with the older people, I'm glad my grandmama whooped my butt. Straightened you out, huh? Your mama said you needed your butt. I did need it. <laughs> I ain't telling no story. I was a bad child. <laughs> I needed every bit I got. I'm glad I got it. Well, people, you can't spank kids. You, you can't, can't spank them kids. Way. You can't like this. Yes, anymore. you can. Uh -huh. Look, Jamie, I don't care what the law is or what they say. You had that child, you raising that child, you taking care of that child, that's your child, so you do like you want to but do. If you're, you raise that child you like you want that child. Wife, they say you can't touch the kid. Please. They gonna wish they had to touch the kid. <laughs> I'm just telling you what you be look at it, Ann. Kid talk back to you. They'll cuss you out and call you yeah. out in, in, the, in the book. And then you're gonna sit up there and take it. You ain't gonna whoop him. You can't whip them, you can't talk back Bring to them. They'll take you to court, you'll be in arrested. anger management. Well, honey, everybody need to go to anger management. Yeah, that they do. You looking at that the they do. Good program. Everybody need to go to anger management. Y'all better start whooping them kids. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, it'll help. 
Calm down, you hurt. gotta go back to work. I pity the next one walks in over there at least Texaco and be ready to jump all over. Unless you're oh, single, but got a good job, you make plenty of money, and you and ain't gonna take care of you. What? I ain't taking care of no man. You said you was looking for one. I just said I was gonna take care of now. Oh, that's right. You wanna run them a bath where they'll take care of you. I sell Again, good men. See, women you, you, want you, men to take see, yeah, that's care what you of doing. them. You defeat the right purpose. The you defeat the exactly. purpose. I said, all oh, good I heard man. that. Jamie you Cooper, want a so man you need to, to right. take care of you. Welcome back. Thank you. <laughs> we'll take a break. Jeanette <laughs> is next to talk about a lot of things happening in Athens, Limestone County. Thank you, Ann. We'll oh, be right my. back, y'all. Hang on.